all right my people welcome back on to this channel well this is another strong one reaching out still on the matter yoruba nation no going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are actually talking about well my brother my sister this is so strong that you no know, a lot of people have been you no know, shocked about this statement well onto this one it had finally been exposed in fact revealed on how dupe onitiri wants to rescue a radio hijacker from prison well a lot of people have actually you know said many things about this situation that why on earth will some set of people be so gullible to have listened to dupe onitiri majority of people have been like were they under a, a spell or something how much were they actually promised or how much were they even paid to have embarked on this journey <laughs> well a lot of people will define the kind of journey this set of boys actually engaged themselves in the kind of journey of no return that they engaged themselves in only god knows how much they were paid to have obeyed Dukpeoni Dotti. Hmm. This is so serious. Well, we already know what is going on. This set of people, they call themselves the Omi Nera Group, the Omi Nera Association. And then when you take a look at what they are into, it's no other thing than to bring down the Yoruba Nation movement, of which the good Lord is bigger than them. That is why the good Lord has been exposing them on every, you no, know, every uh, of their agenda. On everything they plan on, God has been exposing them, and then this last one is not an exception. Right now, a lot of people have actually reacted in different forms. After a voice note you know, started going viral, a voice note of a man sent by Duke Bonitiri, and they know this had been going viral, and I was not like, wait, to is this how they were actually even planning to you know? get the europe the Yoruba nation actualized based on lies oh my goodness well in case you have not heard that voice note it's everywhere it's been going viral and uh, it happened in fact in that voice note the man according to him he said it's in the united states of america of which majority of people have debunked that that don't mind this man this man is not anywhere close to abroad well and uh, he made it clear on his own part that yes he is abroad and then uh, in fact as far as the movement is concerned right now that those boys that the federal government arrested that the federal government should as a you no know, as a matter of urgency release those boys or else in fact uh, they were even given another according to this man you no know, he was of the opinion that they the government should just release these boys because these boys are to be respected they have not done nothing outside the yoruba nation rules well i don't know where the rules of Yoruba nation will tell you to go and vandalize to go and hijack to even act a, a a property property that does not belong to you simply because you want to get your nation actualized so it has been so surprising a lot of people have of the opinion that who exactly is even leading the group who exactly is leading the group who actually sent them and at the end of it all they got to know that Dukpa and uh, you know, the major people behind this were Dukpa and the um, black goats according to what a lot of people have been calling him <laughs> yeah so that those were the people that were actually behind these atrocities that why on god's name in god's name would you, you know even think of that uh, of which they did not even d do it on an ordinary day they did it on the same day the nigerian government is swearing in their own president the same date with them that is to tell you that god is just so big that he rescued the true Yoruba nation agitators because these set of people they were actually out there to tarnish the image of the Yoruba nation movement well my brother my sister that's not exactly where i'm actually going to right now well with the news reaching us the pattern to which dupe onitiri wants to get you know 
these boys out of prison my brother my sister oh, if you hear that pattern you'll be shocked the pattern has been that she sent this man i'm talking about to you no know, do a voice note he didn't show his face so to do a voice note and threaten the nigerian government just verbally like just talk him, make them fear <laughs> threaten them that if they do not release these boys we are going to bomb them we are going to destroy the we are going to do that my brother my sister what exactly is going on who is actually fooling who what is actually going on in this country why in god's name in the first place my brother my sister i don't understand why in god's name would you know somebody like that do community come out and be telling us all this cock and bull what exactly is our problem you want to rescue people no more letter i thought they said they have the backing of the federal government that oh there is a document on grant this time around they've forgotten about the document what they are not doing is to just talk on no on on why will i put it to just do a recording and post it all over they did not even post it to the federal government that's where the problem is they were just sending it to different yoruba group that those people should go and tell the government that they should release their boys that if they do not release meaning failure to release them they will cause trouble that they are not just blabbing at the end of it all he said that's my that's my take bye bye just like that my brother my sister why is it that you no know, a lot of people did not understand what we've been telling them that this woman you are following is just there to kill you one after the other yes a lot of people have made it clear she's working for the government the Nigerian government so there's no you don't need a suicide to tell you what's going on because our agenda is push them into the lion's den after they are being caught she jackpa <laughs> that is why up to now you can imagine since when those guys have been arrested she had not come out to say something about it and then she started it she pushed them there she asked them to go and occupy that there is a document that is backing them nobody will arrest them nothing will be done to them immediately they were arrested she jackpa hmm. she ran she she's been looking away since then my brother my sister what exactly do we still want to hear what exactly do we still want to know because right now me i don't even understand we're talking about how we can get yoruba nation actualized yet yoruba nation has not been actualized yoruba people that we are supposed to protect we are still pushing them into the lion's den then how are we actually helping ourselves then how genuine is this woman right now i don't think you no know, you need any suicide to let to tell you that this woman is just looking for a way to get everybody perished and then you know, the trouble you no know, the you no know, the funniest part of it is that since when these guys have been arrested they have been strategizing another plan so that they can forget about the guys you can imagine when people were like oh these people these boys what's going to happen to them say in case they even die that they are just hero they are hero for the yoruba nation that yoruba people will remember them for what they have done for them my brother my sister who does that what exactly is happening now they are saying oh the federal government should release these boys with immediate effect or else or else kill you dear <laughs> my brother my sister if you are wise you are wise then if you are stupid you are stupid right now the level to which these boys have put themselves when you choose between the two then you understand the category they belong because i see no reason why somebody you have not seen eyeball to her eyeball you don't know where she lives you don't know where she works and then you believe everything about her well too bad well right now a lot of people already know the truth 
and then you know the bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free everybody is right now free no matter what they try to tell us we already know that the only leaders we have is chief sunday Igbo, professor banji akintoye and then the rest of them well my brother my sister this is so strong right now what more can we say on today's meanwhile let me have your own take my people on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel all right thanks and god bless